Hey guys and welcome back to another one of these videos. So today I thought we'd go through a paper 2 grade 9 question. So uh, keep in mind the only, the only reason why I specify it's paper 2 is because we can use a calculator because any topic can ap appear in any paper. And I thought this was a really really interesting question and it's kind of similar to the question we did before which is the uh, solving the impossible maths question that I have on the channel. So we have three. this diagram showing three identical circles inside a rectangle. Each circle touches the other two circles and the sides of the rectangle, so we can see that. The radius of each circle is 24 millimeters. We need to work out the area of the rectangle, giving our answer to three significant figures. So how would I approach this? By the way, it's a four mark question. So the question is, how would I approach this? Well, the first thing is, is it says I want to work out the area of a rectangle. So how do I work out the area of a rectangle? Well, you need this side, the width, and you multiply it by whatever you want to call this side, the length, or you can call it the height if you want. So the question is, do I have those sides? Well, I don't at the moment, but can I work any of them out straight away? Well, it tells me that the radius of each circle is 24 millimeters. So if I look at the width, because the two circles are actually right next to each other, the width is actually just one radius, plus another radius, plus another radius, plus another radius. It's just equal to four times the radius, and the radius in this case is 24 so that gives me 96 millimeters okay so we actually already have the width now can i do the same thing for the length well no unfortunately because if you look there is actually an overlap between the circles right they're not stacked on top of each other there's actually a bit of like a an overlap here so we need to do well we need to do something else something a bit more spicy hence why it's a grade 9 question well, if you remember in my solving the impossible maths question video, and I also have another question that's very similar to this, I told you guys that any time you have this kind of three circle arrangement, you're going to make an equilateral triangle. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if I join the centers of these circles, and again, you can do this for any question that has three circles in this arrangement, which it, honestly, it's very, very common. Well, for grade nine anyway. First of all, can you see that each of these sides is just two times the radius because they're identical circles. So we have radius, radius. So that's two radii. That's two times the radius. And that's two times the radius. So that's an equilateral triangle, which basically means that all of the sides are the same and all of the angles are the same. So all three of these angles are 60 degrees. Cool. So can I use that to work out the height? Well, another thing I want to say is that if I work, I, I already know what this length is here and this length is here because it's just another radius, right? So if I put that in another color to make it obvious, that's just radius and that is just radius as well, right? So if I can work out the height of this triangle, I can add it to two times the radius and that gives me the height, so the length of this rectangle. Okay, so just to go over one more time. I know that this length's radius because look, it's from the center to the edge of the point, right? To the so it's from the center to the circumference of the circle. I know this is the same thing. So if I work out what this height is of this triangle, I can then just work out the length by adding it all up. So if I have a look at this triangle, I'm going to extract this triangle from here. Okay, I'm just going to extract it out here. I'm going to draw it right next to it. I'm going to draw it in black. Actually, I'll draw it in blue just to make it. To be clear, because what you can do is you can always cut an equilateral triangle in half. So I've actually split this down the middle, right? Which means this bottom side here is just radius. The hypotenuse is two times the radius. And I want to work out this side over here. And this angle is going to be 60 degrees because it's an equilateral triangle. Okay? So if I label up my sides now, we have the opposite side is always opposite the angle we're looking at. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle, and the other side is always the adjacent. So I want O, and I'm looking, and I have H. So if we look at Sokotoa, I can see that I'm actually going to be using so. So we have sine 60 equals opposite, which I don't know. I'm just going to call it O. O is an annoying letter because it looks like zero, but yeah, anyways, which means O is just equal to 2R sine 60 and you can use whatever method you want to get to that answer so since i know that r is 24 i actually have all of my values so what i'm going to do now is open up my calculator and put in brackets 2 times 24 times sine 60 okay 
which gives me 24 root 3. I'll leave it in terms of uh, thirds for now. So that side there is 24 root 3. Okay. So now the actual length of the rectangle, as we said before, is equal to that 24 root 3 plus one radius plus another radius, so plus 2r. Okay. So in, in other words, it's 24 root 3 plus 48, right? Because 2 times 24. Yeah, because r is 24. So I'm going to leave it like that, and the area is just going to be the width times the length. The width we already worked out was 96 millimeters. So we've got 96 times, and then this whole thing here. The reason why I've left it in terms of thirds is just because then I have a more accurate answer. But as a little tip, what you could do is write this into your calculator. So 24 root 3 plus 48. And then literally just save the decimal in your calculator and then just do times 96. And that'll also give you the same answer. And it gives me this number here, which is our area. So we're actually up to three out of the four marks at the moment. 98.6 dot dot dot. But it says to three significant figures. So this is another point where they might kind of trip you up. You're looking at this nine here. The number next to it is bigger than five. Oh, well, it's five or bigger, so we're going to round up. So that gives me eight six zero zero millimeters squared to three significant figures. So I thought that was a really interesting uh, question, to be honest. But again, if you go back and look at the video that I did before on the impossible maths question, it has three circles in it, and we do the same thing. We split it up into an equilateral triangle. I have another question that I could go through, but again, all of if you ever go on Reddit or on like Instagram or something, these impossible maths questions circulate around, and they are very tricky, unless you know the trick. The trick is always make an equilateral triangle. So I hope you found that really useful, and I'll see you in the next one.